Vitalik Buterin, one of the people who started Ethereum. Just talked about three huge opportunities in the crypto space that are good not just for crypto in general, but also for the Shiba Inu ecosystem. Shiba Me is going crazy over one of them in particular because it could completely change the game. Watch this video until the end to find out what this one thing is. You're probably wondering what made the Shiba Me go crazy. Well, here it is. Buterin just told Shiba Inu about a great chance called inflation-resistant stablecoins that they can take advantage of. There are already stable coins in the crypto ecosystem. These are coins that are tied to something that is thought to be more stable, like fiat currency or precious metals. But as inflation has gotten worse, it has become clear that just having a stable coin is not enough. Someone or something else is needed. And Buterin thinks that a coin that is stable and can handle inflation is something else. Buterin told Coinalegraph that if you can make a stable coin that can survive anything, even a hyperinflation of the US dollar, that's also a huge opportunity. If you can make something that will help everyone in that situation, that would be great. Now, Buterin did say how this could be done, but it reminds the Shiba and you community that Shiba and us have their own stable coin. Shy, if you are new to the market for Shiba and us, you might not know that a stable coin has been in the works for more than a year. In fact, Apple was just set up to find out what the Shiba Inu community wanted in terms of a stable asset. Chido Peg Toe. Also, after what happened with Luna, the development team has said that it is taking extra precautions to make sure something similar doesn't happen with QAI. Research has been done and lessons have been learned so that when QAI is released, it won't crash out like a number of other stable coins have. So, people are working in that area. But since it hasn't come out yet, if the dev team wanted to, it could be made into the stable coin that Buterin talked about that doesn't go up in price. Even back in 2021, when the idea for the stable coin was just starting to get noticed, Ryoshi said that the ultimate goal for QAI is for it to become a global stable currency that people in all countries can use it, both a way to save money and pay for things. If this is the plan for the stable coin, it shouldn't be too hard to turn it into a stable coin that is resistant to inflation, as Buterin suggested. What do you think, though? No. Anyway, whatever the QAI stable coin will be, it will be related to the Shiba Inu ecosystem, especially the Shiba Inu community on the blockchain Shibarium. Not pleased with websites. Speaking of which, do you remember the countdown from yesterday? Yo, we found out that while most people thought it was about Shibarium, it was actually a countdown to the release of Shibpedia, which didn't make a lot of people happy. Many people have expressed their disappointment on Twitter and other social media sites. Some have said that Shibarium should have been released in the third quarter of 2022, but it's almost the end of the fourth quarter of 2022. One Twitter user said that the community appreciates the work of the development team, but they really need to know how Shibarium is coming along, which seems reasonable. Now, Chidos has put this on his Twitter page instead of an apology. Please keep in mind that I'm not in charge of every part of SHIB that is website. I applaud Trophius and his team for the new design, and I can see how the countdown could have been confusing even though I'm not in charge of that. I'm sorry if there was any confusion. Keep watching. You have to decide if this is a good way to say sorry or not. Still, there's no need to worry because all of the complaints have already been taken into account and a change has been made to Shibarium. First, Shibtrophia said that they are sorry that Shibarium hasn't been released yet, but the community needs to remember that the dev team can't release more than one project at a time. Shibarium is also a big project, so it will take a lot of time and care to make sure it doesn't disappoint when it comes out. It seems that this is why the team decided to make the Shiba Inu website Shibpedia where everyone can find out everything they need to know about Shiba and us and how things are going in the ecosystem. Here is part of what Trophius wrote in his tweet. We know that some of you are upset about Shibarium because you were hoping for an update on the much-anticipated game. We can't really launch everything at the same time. It needs to be done with care and thought. We needed a place where we could find information and more. The site is also always changing and information will be added in real time and in a way that suits us. It, too, sends the first part of what we hope will be a sequence release of useful information in the days to come. One thing that is clear right away from the tweet is that there is still no set date for Shibarium to come out. But before we talk about that, 
This channel gives away 100,000 SHIB every day to anyone who enters the giveaway. Just subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Shiba and you good luck. Back to having no awards tweet. From what the tweet says, the launch of Shibarium might take a little longer than we thought. If we should go to the website to find out what's going on. But at this point, the community would be happy with any news. At this point, it seems like people just want to know what's going on. What do you think about that? Is this a good enough reason to start the website instead of Shibarium? Please tell us what you think in the section below. Here's a study that's worth looking into. Shiba Inu is only 2% away from a big goal, it seems. You may ask, what's the point? Well, almost 60% of the people who own Shiba and us are long-term holders. This means that at the time this video was made, about 58% of people who own Shiba Inu tokens had them for a year or longer. That's a lot to be proud of, and there are a lot of reasons for this. First of all, having so many long-term holders makes the asset more stable because there are fewer people who hold it for the medium or short term. It means that not a lot of people are selling their tokens. So, if the number of people who hodl Shiba and you keeps going up, the token's price has a very good chance of becoming stable. Having a lot of long-term holders is also good because it shows that a lot of people trust the asset. In a crypto market like this one, if people hold on to a certain token instead of selling it, it shows that they trust that asset. It looks like this is the case with Shiba Inu. What do you think? No? Here are the two other chances that Buterin talked about to end this video. One of them has to do with mass wallet adoption, which Buterin brought up in response to Hoffman's worry that the wave of people using dApps is over. Buterin said that wallet infrastructure would just need to be worked on more in the future. From Buterin's point of view, this is easy to understand. Infrastructure for wallets is not quite at its best right now. There are still things that could be done better, especially if the crypto market wants to attract billions of new users. So, any cryptocurrency project that can build infrastructure for wallets that can hold billions of wallets will definitely be adopted. And for Shiba Inu, this could be a great chance. Just saying. The other chance has to do with website logins that use Ethereum. Buterin said that if Ethereum could find a way to take login power away from tech giants like Facebook, Google, and Twitter, it would pretty much take over the market for internet-based apps. He didn't say anything about beginning to make this. He just said that it's a chance, and if it's a chance for Ethereum, it could be a chance for Shiba and us too. We've reached the end of this video. If you liked the video, please like it and don't forget to leave a comment in the section for comments. This helps me a lot with how YouTube works. Also, please let as many people as possible know about this video. Let's tell everyone about this.